In nature, many microorganisms can cause disease, some by infecting our bodies and producing toxins, others by producing toxins in our food that make us sick. One group of these microorganisms is called molds, and they can grow on foods and animal feed to the point that we can see them. While growing in grains, nuts, and fruits, some molds can produce harmful compounds, known as mycotoxins, that are invisible to the eye. Different mold produces different toxins. Some are called aflatoxins, others are called fumonisins. When temperature, moisture, and other conditions are right, molds can grow on crops or food and produce these toxins. If you eat food contaminated with mycotoxins, you can become very sick. Symptoms of sickness will be different, depending on which mold was growing on the food. Other factors that influence the symptoms include the amount of the contaminated food eaten, the age, and the health of the affected individual. Mycotoxin poisoning may become worse if the person ingesting the contaminated food is already sick or malnourished. Some mycotoxins can cause the disease as soon as the contaminated food is eaten, with symptoms that include nausea and vomiting. Other mycotoxins can have a long-term effect from low amounts of exposure over a long period of time, resulting in stunting in children and cancer in adults. If a breastfeeding mother eats aflatoxin-contaminated food, the baby's health can also be affected. Mycotoxin exposure can increase the chances of individuals to suffer from diseases caused by other microorganisms, and it can worsen the effects of malnutrition. The development of crops that are resistant to molds, along with fungicide applications during crop production and proper land preparation in between seasons, can reduce mycotoxin in grains and fruits. After harvest, there are several practices that prevent or reduce mycotoxin contamination. Before storage, any crop with visible mold should be separated and discarded. Grains or nuts should be dried before storage to reduce moisture content and prevent mold growth. During storage, it is important to keep conditions clean by placing the grain, nuts, or fruit in closed containers. This will help prevent pest access, decreasing the chances of mold growth and mycotoxin contamination. The storage containers should be sealed and, if possible, airtight. It is also recommended to routinely inspect stored crops to look for any signs of insect infestation or early damage such as broken grains, dust accumulation, or light or discolored grains. Regardless of the crop, before food preparation, if contaminated items are seen, they should be separated and discarded. These practices will help you to avoid unsafe food that can make you and your family sick.